hello hello everyone that's my channel and that's why I drink oh I didn't send the title below as you can see uh, why do I love Asian people and this video will explain the reasons why I recommend really highly recommend to spend most of your time around an Asian person in growing up I didn't have a lot of Asian people around me I didn't grow up in a Asian country like and when I say Asian I'm talking about like Korea, China, Japan, Thailand, um, Vietnam, Cambodia, Mongolia I guess, Nepal, Taiwan. My life I've been better at making friends with Asian people. If it wasn't for Asian people I wouldn't have a friend so thank you very much guys I love you. Mm -hmm. Asian people makes you feel comfortable. They approach you and they welcome you when you are trying to introduce yourself to new people. Which is really, I knew people from many cultures. You don't see that. Thing. Especially with Koreans, you guys have really great sense of humor. Yeah. You know how to understand a joke and you know how to tell a nice joke. Which is something really admirable. Because I had these days where I'm hanging out with someone and I would say a joke and they would be like, got your joke was it really a joke yeah that never happened with me with asian people they are really good at, at understanding jokes even if it was from another culture they still can relate the other reason is which is the most important reason yes it is you guys are always in groups when you are friend with an Asian person, you usually befriend their groups as well. So if you befriend a person and they have five friends, that means you had six friends now. Do the math. Do the math. That sounded a bit stereotypical. Sorry for that. I can say thank you for the amount of friends that I have now. All the friends of my friends. The friend of my friend is my friend. Plus, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Oh, I end up with a lot of friends. I'll say a story now that really summarizes what I'm talking about is that being around Asian is really, really way nicer than being with most of other ethnic, ethnic groups. So I had two trips. I went to an area called the Great Ocean Road and Wilson's, uh, Wilson's Prom. And they are one of the most beautiful areas in Victoria, uh, Australia. And I said, well, I'm gonna go to a nice trip and enjoy my time and see the ocean, which is really, really... The ocean is not really a safe place here in Australia. Who doesn't take the risk? It's worth it. Mm -hmm. time I went with a Chinese group no oh, anybody there and once they saw me they were so surprised I was the only person who's non-Chinese non-Asian in the group I'm surprised that I'm a different ethnicity they actually were surprised how did I find about their websites because it's written only in Chinese I can thank Google Translate for that it was like hijacking them. <laughs> Break into a party. They are all like Chinese people hanging out together and they have this website that nobody understands it but people who speak Mandarin. And then after that, I found out about it. I put the effort into it because I wanted to hang out with Chinese people, with Asian people, and I put a lot of effort to translate the website to hang out with them. As I thought, it was one of the most amazing trips of my life. I got into the bus, everyone, everyone was nice, everyone was welcoming. I sat next to the driver actually it was a mini bus not even like one of the big buses he was speaking to me all the time and people were so nice and they were even watching our conversation flashback to my previous trip and now and then the uh, previous trip was really really uh, something out of Stephen King books you know and it was a bus full of European tourists to an area called Wilson's Prom, one of the most beautiful areas in Victoria. People on the bus were like German, a lot of Germans, uh, British, Russian, Spanish. The person who was running the tour, I guess he was maybe Aussie, but he seemed like he's from originally from South America. Oh, there was no Asian people in this group. Where is no Asian people? I do not thrive. Like enemy. If it wasn't for Japanese be people, I wouldn't exist. Like chopsticks. If it wasn't for Asian people, I wouldn't be there. So I was in that place and there was no Asian people. Do you know 
know the feeling? Really, it made me realize how precious Asian people are to my life. Those European people were horrendous, were horrible, especially the girls. Everyone actually is avoiding to talk with the other. I tried to find someone my age and I sat next to him and it wasn't a good idea. I was German and I was so happy that I sat next to a German person because I do speak German as well. When you find someone speaking your language while they are not from your country and you are both away into nowhere in a country called Australia in the middle of nowhere in the ocean, you be actually enthusiastic. But he wasn't. He was like, mm. I, was, I started I started actually a conversation with him, you know, I wanted to talk and just make a friend and hang out with a person while we are in a, tr in a trip, which is 12 hours you are with these people. Yes, I handled those people 12 hours. I am such a hero. To all these girls on the bus, all on their mind is to chase the young guys, to find a boyfriend on the tour bus. So well, if you are trying to find a boyfriend or a date on a tour bus, you need really some serious help. More like visiting a website to tell you more about dating tips. I swear, like three girls were just hovering all the time around me. The time I try to speak with a guy, they will be like picking on me and they will be like, <gasps> like... When I was talking with this German guy, this girl, she kept watching me like she was sitting like that and she would look at me like... Exactly, imagine you're on a bus for hours and this stupid bitch is looking at you like that. Like a wave of hate. For me, I ended up actually feeling alone and singled out. The only person actually who hang out with me after that was an Indian guy, which is probably an Asian, but not the kind of Asian I'm talking about. After I left my seat next to the German guy, this girl who was giving me the looks actually moved next to the German guy and started to, to start a conversation with him. And he actually done the same to her, so I guess he hates everybody equally none of the girls wanted to talk to me and all of them were giving me the look I have actually spoken tried to spoke with the guys so I spoke with another guy who was Russian just for a few minutes just for a few minutes and then this girl arrived I was trying to date him or something like that and she had this magnum ice cream with her. I started to eat the ice cream like Oh my god, my, my, my video can be taken down if I imitate how she was eating the magnum ice cream actually dating the magnum ice cream to do that to distract the guy from talking with me and to talk with her after that i have a, i had a talk with the tour guide the, the guy who was running uh the trip and i told him can i go to the toilet and he told me like why do you want to go just now the girls they start to laugh about this situation and he started to laugh as well so imagine you are in this very unfriendly situation where everybody's refusing to talk to you they are all refusing to hang out with you they, they exclude you they as well not treat you nice they try to pick on you and give you those looks so even if you are on your own and you said i want to be at peace they wouldn't even leave you alone fresh breeze of happiness arrived finally found an asian group i was looking like my love the people I love. But see, at that point, I knew how important Asian people are in my life. There was this Korean group, amazing people. They were walking all, everyone with together, like five people, five people, five, and all talking and laughing and all of And then I left the bus where I am, uh, where I was, which is the European stupid people, the, uh, the European boring people in the bus, the weirdos who are just sex maniac. <laughs> going to the tour bus to find partners. So uh, we needed to go up a mountain, which a mountain, very beautiful view. And you can see like the ocean, the open ocean, uh, and with a strong wind and beautiful mountain, like it's over the cloud, something out of this world. I met these Asian people over the cloud. It's literally heaven. Asian people with this beautiful scene and I started to talk with them and I love Asian guys seriously it's guys if you are if you are an Asian guy and watching you are perfect you are amazing I love you I started talking with them and even the Asian girls most of my female friends are Asian girls and we were actually uh, met, I met this group I started a conversation with them they actually welcomed me and we were laughing we were instantly taking pictures even together I still have the pictures with me and i will forever cherish this few moments i spend with these asian people we were actually a korean group and even when i went down the mountain i was with them those european groups were actually watching me from a distance and leave me alone they don't want to hang out with me and they don't want even to see me happy 
they were watching me like Actually, I wanted to go with the Asian group, but you can't because they are camping in a place. They're already in a different bus You can't just change the program really just when I compared the two group I wanted to stay over the mountain and not return to that hellish bus while I was going down the mountain Everything was really going down like figuratively and literally this European group were like getting angry and upset for the reason that I'm happy what the hell do you know me I, I'm even stranger like you those girls they don't even know they are like so butthurt that I'm being happy then I was going down with those Asian guys and girls and talking with them and they were really like even successful people the European people who were in the bus were like mechanics people who are really like bullshit they don't even have a degree they don't even have high school diploma like, all sleazy and things like the Asian group were all like master and PhD and psychologist and stuff like that they were all like young and beautiful why this group of european euro trash they are acting like that while other people who are way better than them in every way are so humble and kind where i end up leaving the asian group actually feeling worse because now i had both feelings i knew how the feeling to be in a nice place with nice people and be in such a place on a trip for 12 hours with the european people time to go to the bus time to wear the helmet to protect myself in the war zone in every aspect in life wherever I go a place even people from my country you will notice that they are they can be shitty but when it comes to Asian people even the guys with the way they treat their women the girls the females treat them with a lot of respect it's like he's protecting her she's from his country and he's protecting her and he feels sense of responsibility of taking care of her Anyway, finally I left the hellish bus and that was the last time ever I went to the tour group with ever this a European group or with any, with any company from now on I'm supporting anything made in China even the tour buses it was my story why do I love Asian people it's from a long experience every country in the world the majority of Asian nationality I've I've dealt with thank you very much for watching the video and if you are an Asian person I love you and all of you are amazing people and I'm so happy you are my friends I'm happy you are my life I'm happy that there is a billion Chinese person in the world. It would be a horrible place if it was another nationality, believe me. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. And just want to show my love for the Asian people. Mm. Arigato!